Best Star Wars movie? Empire Strikes Back. Absolutely not. Since I was a kid, I've always loved science fiction. And I've always loved science. Science actually needs science fiction because science needs creativity. Science fiction obviously needs science, otherwise it's just crazy talk. This is an opportunity to bring the two things together, especially through looking at popular TV shows, movies, etc., and seeing what is realistic and what is just completely out there <laughs> in the context of these shows that we're watching. Some Harry Potter. Some Star Trek. Some Star Wars. Some evolution. Some biotechnology. Ooh, some Doctor Who. I want to see a kid come in and tell me about Attack on Titan. How many little humans those Titans have to eat to maintain a massive body that size? The premise is absurd, right? I, I know the premise is absurd. I am not completely delusional. But the path of learning after the premise is completely valuable for me. We're really excited to work with you on the science fiction that interests you and to explore some of the science behind it and to work through it together to figure out what could make the things that seemed impossible potentially true. We'll go through the literature together, through the scientific literature, through the sci-fi show itself. We'll also probably have a couple of field trips to movies mm -hmm. and discuss them afterwards and see how those went. Yeah. My hope is that you'll come up with a problem, you'll solve a problem, and then you'll be so enthralled with the solution you've come up with that you're gonna tell everybody you know. Hi, I'm Mohammed. And I'm Eric, and we'd like to spend our spring break with you. Breakthrough! Sorry. <laughs> was that a Star Wars ringtone? It was a Star Wars ringtone. <laughs> yeah.